Hello dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. This is Uncut Fishing and on this very early spring evening and a very warm evening I must say. One of the warmest days so far. Um, on this stream as you can see it's running low, the water is pretty clear, it looks really really well. Actually too low for this time of year but the water temperature is still not that high, almost 7 degrees Celsius or 44 something like that Fahrenheit and I've been fishing this stream for some time now, I'm using a, a streamer equipped Napsi W number 2 and I've tried to go downstream with a crank, tried this low approach which is I'm still convinced better in this in these conditions but didn't see a single fish so switched to the spinner and started moving upstream again some people use this strategy all year long if we take for example Iki 1881 Japanese angler of the channel on YouTube he's fishes in the winter exactly the same way he does in the summer. He uses cranks and goes upstream and um, I don't think it's the best approach. Um, or if we take, let's say, Ron from Wisconsin trout fishing, he also fishes in the winter quite a lot and sometimes catches quite a lot as well and he fishes exactly the same way pretty much he does in the in the summer so spinners going upstream but this is not the best approach in cold water i mean this is not wisconsin unfortunately streams that i fish like this one are not stock full of trout far from that so it would be better to go downstream and to try catch them with a very slow presentation of cranks, sinking cranks. But as I said, I tried it today, didn't work. So I figured, does it matter how I won't catch anything? So I started going upstream. And actually, I, I hooked one really small one and saw a couple more. So not, not that bad. But again, I'm pretty much convinced that in cold water going upstream with fast lures is not the best way to go if you want to catch as many trout as possible. Obviously, yeah, there are some streams in the world where you can go fishing anytime you want and using any lure and any technique you want and still you are very likely to hook into something but again as I said those are not those types of streams oh man my reel caught the line this is oh quite fortunately I managed to get it off Streams like this one are the kind of streams where an amateur may wade upstream at the height of the season for an hour or even two and not see a single fish, let alone land one. So this is not New Zealand, this is not Wisconsin, this is not, I don't know. Finnmark or Patagonia. So what I'm doing now is just, I don't know, a form of relaxation 
if I catch anything that's a bonus. I pretty much don't expect much, if at all. This is a good spot. You know, if you want to catch fish, you should approach these spots carefully. Put on something slow, like a sinking crank. I don't know, a softer, uh, a warm imitation. Actually, I've got so these pink worms. They actually work quite well in early spring. But maybe I even should try them right now. But I don't feel like I need to catch fish. So, you know, this is my first outing this year. I haven't fished since mid-October 2018, so for quite a lot, and I don't know, I don't feel like I need to, to catch fish. If I felt like that, I would try experimenting more. This is the type of spot, in this stream at least, where it is very unlikely to get a larger trout. But at the height of the season you can get a smaller one here and there in these spots. Both takes that I had took place on my first cast into the zone, so very decisive, but as I mentioned, fish were very small in both cases. So, an amazing spot. The tree has been rooted out. I don't know if I can use this expression here. The last time I was here, a couple of years back, this tree was standing and now as you can see it's out of position. But this spot is amazing. I've actually, I don't think I've caught a fish here, by the way, but some of the largest trout that I've seen on this stream I've seen in this hole. The streamer has been improved by some weeds. But yes, as you can see, it's a mess. And in the water it looks more or less okay. There's no difference between these artificial fibers and these green weeds. Who cares?
another tree down and the riverbed has changed significantly when it went clearly the water is running where there was a bank it should have been over there but when the tree fell along with a piece of the bank oh you can see already a huge new bush growing out of the roots of that tree that's amazing that's amazing it basically was taken down with all of its roots and as you can see it didn't die far from that but obviously the mass will increase and finally this will collapse and by the way it may be that this is also an outgrow of this particular tree that has fallen many years ago sort of spots that may have a fish in them and I suspect in most of the cases they do at least a small one but again when it's so early water temperature is not that bad obviously it's almost seven degrees Celsius it's quite high in the winter it falls to one degree Celsius and lower than that almost to zero but it's still not 10 or 12 or 14 that we will get later and that's when the trout actually wake up and I even think that the best time of year for trout is the height of spring I personally don't like autumn, for example, early autumn a lot, I think it's worse than late spring, but early spring is crap, for me it's crap. wipe actually was going to look elsewhere and oh another swipe very lazy swipes for so this stream I suspect this trout it looks very small but it's it's a two-year-old trout so it hatched in the spring of 2017 but yeah, it's, it took a f the first swipe on the first retrieve and repeated it on the second retrieve, so yeah, when you find these lonesome trout that are in the mood, you can catch. This is not a large trout land, but who knows? It's 
sometimes they take to the shallows in the spring but this is not that sort of situation the stream is running low there's no point to to take rest in the shallows all of the best spots will probably be already occupied and the fish will remain there for most of the season this is not a bad spot but not a textbook spot, let's put it this way I think I will try down there. This is much better. Not very good. Not not deep enough. Not deep enough at all. Too shallow. into something more substantial still is there anything more substantial in there because as I said it's not a given this dream requires a lot of work in the drag a little not a very large trout but already full of energy maybe I fouled hooked it yeah I hooked it into a gill or something here it is not a large fish that is something very slim okay bro very slim fish as you can see very lazy 
to swim away, but the hookup was really very good for the fish. I caught it in the chin, not in the mouth. Obviously it took a swipe at the spinner. It's not a, a random hookup, but didn't catch the spinner itself, but the spinner caught its chin. Sometimes you know fish attack lures with the mouth closed. That also happens, especially when you imitate other trout, but not necessarily. But I, I don't know what, what happened in this case. But that was actually pretty nice, a spot, a very good spot and a very nice fight for... Oh! Did you see that? I, I cast over the small branch and thought that this cast is already as good as gone and tried to retrieve faster and then the fish tried to take it at the surface. But actually I, I can barely see that branch. I'm using polarized lenses. No repeated attempt. Obviously the cast wasn't as good. Oh man, this is even worse. is more like it. No, it's, it's not coming out. Maybe it was just an illusion. Maybe my spinner was raised above the water and then fell into it, I don't know. snagging into trash but no fish no no fish so either there was a fish but it no longer wants to play or oh, it was just an illusion that there was a take yeah, it's actually very shallow in there very shallow. But it could be that there is another trout in there. And it approached that spot when it heard something fall in. not a deep bend at all. I can see the bottom in most of the places. Maybe you don't see it, but I can, so it's not deep. Oh man! Yeah, it doesn't look like a trout holding spot at all. over. Now it's time to save the spinner.
that will be it probably for this short segment I don't expect to catch anything else if I do I'll let you know in any case this was Uncut Fishing folks thanks for watching uh, the season is just beginning by the way a few words about the 2018-2019 of season I was posting I was I, as I planned I think I posted quite a lot of excellent videos compared to the other videos that I have but I couldn't get my channel going the growth was slow and now it's again shrinking I think in March I, I will get something like 2.4 thousand views overall on the entire channel so I don't know probably I will continue for one more year but we'll see so if you like this sort of material and would like to support me well first of all you already have by watching this but second of all consider subscribing if you haven't that helps again thanks for watching and i'll see you next time